giving you a voice, making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. So with that being said, uh, we're going to start here in the, at the, with the top 25. And uh, for our week two, our first, or our 25th ranked team is going to be team number 302. From Lake Orion, Michigan, Lake Orion Community High School, it's the Dragons. 15-2 and two overall, with well, the winners, the Miami Valley at Regional. So this Michigan team decided to uh, begin their season outside of FEM and ensured their qualification to the first championship by winning the Miami Valley Regional. They were the number one seed at the event, and they, and they along with 33-24, also utilized 57-24 and 13-17, so a backup out there in the elimination rounds. They needed three matches in both the semifinals and the finals, but ultimately persevered uh, with a 64-51 to win in finals match three to earn the win. So congrats to them, and you can catch them uh, as they play their first event in FEM week four at the Jackson District event. So, Justin, it didn't take too long. I don't think we got corrected last week, but I guess it is the chat is telling us it's Lake Orion. Orion. Okay. All right. Lake you know, Orion. I oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? No, I, I, I respect that because, oh, yeah. you know what, it definitely says Orion on the screen, but I'll take their word for it. Yeah, I was um, I was actually down here in Florida today, and um, I was signing up for something and needed my address. And he's like, uh, North... Uh, I was like, yeah, it's Chai Lai. I know it's spelled Chili, but we spell it Chai Lai. <laughs> yeah. So like same same sort of thing, you know, we're, we're from there. So so congratulations to 302 there from Lake Orion. Lake, Lake Orion. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. Dragons. Thank you. The dragons. <laughs> the red dragons. <laughs> All right. So moving to the 24th ranked team, we have team 2052. From New Brighton, Minnesota, and Irondale Senior High School, it's Nightcrawler. With an overall record of 15-1, and one, they were the winners of the Northern Lights Regional. So I don't think we've heard much from Nightcrawler in the regards to the top 25 in a while. They've definitely been on it before. Uh, but they, they make their 2019 um, debut here at number 24. So taking the number one seed with a record of 9-0 and oh and a 2.88 ranking score average, they would um, lose a uh, quarterfinal match one, but uh, never lose again and take the win in the next six matches. 2052 is a little robot that could is very short but effective in the ground game um, of the cargo ship and the rocket. They also have a level three hab climb um, at the end. So awesome start to the season for them, and they'll look to continue that success when they play again later this month um, back in the home state at um, in Minnesota at the 10,000 Lakes Regional. So congratulations to – oh, no, that's, they were also in Minnesota. But um, con uh, congrats and good luck to Nightcrawler going forward. So Nightcrawler is really interesting because, as you mentioned, Mike, they don't score in uh, the level two or level three on the rocket. Uh, so very uh, interesting strategy, but they are a, a pretty effective score uh, otherwise. Uh, they were left alone a lot, though. Looking at the playoffs, uh, it looks like a lot of the defense was played against their alliance partner, uh, 525. So I'll be interested to see how Nightcrawler maybe handles uh, – perhaps a bit more defense as the game starts to evolve as well, too. I uh, had a great set of finals matches against my old team, 2826 Wave Robotics, uh, and uh, definitely an impressive robot. Uh, they, they've been really a, sh a shine in the Crown Jewel of Minnesota uh, year after year. So congrats to them on a big win, and, of course, looking for uh, another event uh, at the other uh, double regional in Minnesota. Oh, that's, oh, so Northern Lights is double regional too? Okay. Yeah, that's what that's the Lake Superior regional, despite us forgetting to cover it on region recap. But <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's a double regional up in Duluth. Uh, and then Duluth, 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 if you remember that from like five <laughs> years ago. Uh, and then, yeah, time flies. Uh, and then there's a double regional in Minneapolis as well too, uh, with the 10,000 Lakes regional sponsored by whoever uh, and the uh, North Star regional. Very cool. Nice. Awesome. So that was 24. And then uh, moving on to 23, Justin's going to talk about team 3707. So Mike had new Brighton. I just have regular Brighton, Michigan, Brighton High School. It's the Brighton Techno Dogs, 16, 2 and 1 overall. And we're the winners, the Milford District event. So back to back Michigan teams for me, the Techno Dogs did compete in FEM uh, against, other, against 39 other great teams. They were able to seed fourth and were selected to the number one alliance by team 67. 3707 was a dominant cargo bot boasting over 300 cargo points, which is really 50 points better um, than anyone else at the event. So their swerve drive also, I noticed, and the watching their videos made them extremely maneuverable around defense, which is quickly becoming um, a factor in this game. So 3707, a great robot. Congrats to them on a great event. Nice. I didn't, I didn't even pick up on that. New Brighton to Brighton. When you read New Brighton, I was like, oh, is he reading my next? The wrong one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. 
All right, so that was yeah. yep, that was twenty three going to twenty two, and we're talking about thirty six forty seven. From San Diego, California, and Torrey Pines High School, it's the Millennium Falcons. Uh, with an overall record of 29-7-1, and one. they were the winners of the Del Mar and this past week at the San Diego Regionals, which apparently was in the same venue. Um, so back-to-back weeks of deep space play for 36-47. They look to continue their um, hot success from the win at Del Mar, as I mentioned, in the same venue. Um, there they seated 7th. Um, and they were selected to the number one to the number one alliance. And in San Diego, they were ranked fifth and was also selected to the number one alliance. They improved the ranking score average by almost a half a point between these two events. Um, they have a dual sided mechanism for hatch or cargo placement, um, which they place quickly and effectively. So a really amazing start for the Millennium Falcons. Uh, two gold medals to start this season. They have one more regional um, at Idaho, uh, um, in Idaho before uh, they will be competing at the Houston uh, championship. So um, really great job to the Millennium Falcons um, on this stellar start um, for sure. Um, it was really interesting. I didn't, I guess, know, know that about Del Mar and San Diego, that they were at the same event. Uh, <laughs> it's an outdoor but, event too. Yeah. yeah, I yeah. Saw it was that. a was crazy so thing. Cause it, well, except that on, uh, I know when Glenn it was Lee Del Mar, it was, it was yeah. raining most of the time. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. It's like, it's, uh, um, man, what was that? Like Houston, 2003. I'm, well, I'm just really dating myself all over again. It's like <laughs> rain outside trying to get your robots places. But uh, yeah, if you, if you look at the video on the screen, I mean, you can clearly see that see that open air. I mean, that's really it's more open air than it is yeah, outside. Right? outside. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, I mean, it's still pretty awesome. Um, oh yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Um, something I just want to mention a uh, couple of things about money and Falcons, uh, you know, two regional wins for weeks one and week two, man, come mm-hmm. on. They got to be higher than, you know, what they are. <laughs> yeah. But uh, something uh, also, I just want to mention a, a couple of cool things, uh, not only regional winners uh, this past week, uh, but industrial design award uh, and also Dean's list finalists, which is pretty cool nice. uh, as well too. Wow. So uh, shout great out great success. Uh, yeah. To yeah for all those successes. Quite, quite, quite the weekend. <laughs> yeah. Weekends. Yeah. Cool. So that was the, the Millennium Falcons, uh, ranked 22nd. Um, in our 21st spot, we have team number 48. From Warren, Ohio, Warren G. Harding High School, it's team elite, 14-1 and one overall. And we're the winners, the iconic Midwest Regional. So it's awesome to see 48 back in the winner's circle after another per- awesome performance of the Midwest Regional. They ranked fifth and kept in the number four alliance, selecting Wild Sang and the Robo Tigers for the playoffs, knocking off the number one and number three alliances on their way to the win. 48 sports a four-bar linkage on an elevator and plays both a rocket and cargo game with ease. Congrats to them on a great start to their season. You can catch them again at the Pittsburgh Regional week four so i i was at the midwest regional uh this past mm-hmm. weekend and uh or on, on saturday i did a lot of interviews uh so look for those coming up over the next week but got a chance to both talk to 48 uh quite a bit uh and see the robot uh you know when i first saw their bot i was a little questioning kind of their their intake a little bit on, on the way it kind of looks but uh they were able to get their cycles just down really quick and for a team that's been known for kind of that that power defense a lot of times a lot of power offense coming from 48 um I was sitting uh, w- with my wife, Caitlin, in the stands at some point, and uh, in the, I think it was in the quarters, uh, pointed out some of their strategy that they were using in regards to how they were playing defense uh, and just the alliance strategy that they have to uh, play this kind of this zone defense uh, amongst uh, their bots to, to just keep switching between offense and defense and going back and forth. Uh, I mean, I, right in the quarters, I'm like, you know what, that, that number four alliance, I think they're going to win. Uh, their strategy seemed really good, and, you know, I think, you know, it was a little fortunate for uh, 48 in their alliance that the number two seed lost in the semis after some uh, mechanical difficulties because 16 is a, is a fantastic team, and so is uh, 2338 on their alliance. Uh, but 48 uh, and 111 and uh, uh, Riverside Rebel Tigers 2830 there with them, uh, just a really, really, really well-built alliance that just performed really well, good scoring machines, and even better strategy as well. Yeah, so it's really um, interesting, Justin. You use the word iconic because I reference a team later in the top 25 and also use the word iconic for the Midwest Regional. <laughs> but um, I just want to shout out Travis. He's in the chat tonight. He sent me this um, no longer made uh, Delphi Elite jersey, and it's awesome. So I just want to say thanks to, for him to sending me that. I know Alex is in the chat too from 48. So uh, just thank you for that. It's very cool. Appreciate it. And if anybody else would like us to send us stuff, we always will take it. Speaking of which, I think we mentioned we'll mention it later. But Justin is wearing his Argo shirt tonight. Yeah, I got some new uh, repping some new uh, threads as well. So it's always always a great day when uh, team shirts show up in the mail. Oh yeah, we love it. So again, thanks to thanks to Travis for it. 
You're up, right. bud. Yep. So moving uh, to the 20th spot, and we're going to talk about 2046. From Maple Valley, Washington, and Tahoma Senior High School, it's Bear Metal. An overall record of 15 and one, they were the semifinalists at the Auburn District event up in Penu, 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 Penu. <laughs> up in the PNW for those that uh, are maybe new to the show. <laughs> uh, so Bear Metal can place a hatch on the far side of the rocket and get back to the human player station in the sandstorm and is very quick around the field and plays very well against defense. Uh, their level three half climb is super quick there at the end as well. Um, this earned them the number one ranking at the event with a 3.08 ranking score average. Um, and unfortunately, unfortunately, after losing semifinal match number two, they had to call in a backup bot for themselves. And this is where their alliance would exit the event. Uh, the beauty of the district model, however, is that the number of matches played and with a robot like 2046, there's no doubt that they'll be back better um, at their next event, which will be West Valley. So it's not a goodbye for bare metal. It's just to see you later. Um, you know, a team like this, who's been in the top 25 quite often, um, just knows how to, <clears throat> um, knows how to just keep pushing forward and they'll get that robot ready to go for West Valley. So congratulations to 2046 bare metal uh, here in the 20th spot. So something interesting to point out, and, and Karthik kind of just mentioned this in chat, is uh, so their ELO ranking is two, right? Uh, and ELO takes an, in account a lot of uh, qualification matches and not as heavy in ELIMs and playoffs, right? Uh, so you can tell that this robot was absolutely phenomenal, and unfortunate eggs in the semis might have hurt them a little bit. You know, PNW has started to get more and more teams in the top 25, so I think they're starting to get the recognition uh, that they that they need to get. And, and bare metal, uh, you know, if they were in full form. Uh, I would would have bet good money that they would have won that won that event, and it's unfortunate to see a robot uh, break down, not be able to come back out. Uh, but I think Bare Metal is is definitely uh, one of, if not the team, uh, to really look out for. And of course, with them and like Jack in the Bot and a few others uh, to really look out for in the PNW. And what great teams that come out of that the last couple of years? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, so moving on to our 19th ranked team. It's kind of a, I posted it in our Discord this week. Uh, I got I went to Wawa, which is like a convenience store ultra place. It's really cool. But uh, my order number for my hoagie was 694. Stipoles like high poles. <laughs> now what am I going to say? Oh, right? sorry, That's man. That's what I <laughs> I'm going to say anyway. From New York, New York, Stuyvesant High School, it's Stipoles. 13 and 6 overall were the finalists at the New York Tech Valley Regional. So many teams in New York began their seasons this past weekend at Tech, Tech Valley, and Stipulus was no exception. They ranked third. They they ranked third and were the number two alliance captains, drawing a cheer every time they climbed with their very unique suction suction cup climber. They lifted so their cool. alliance. All it is really cool. They lifted their alliance all the way to the finals. A great start to their season, and you can catch them again we this week going back to back uh, at the Central New York Regional. So yeah, so 694 was really cool. Go ahead. Yeah. No, I was just saying, so basically district model in, uh, in New York going on right now for some of these teams. So it's the district, from, yeah, it's from the district State, model yeah. that costs twice as much. It's sweet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> sweet. But yeah, Stipe we play like, less matches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, yeah. Great robot this year, Van. That, that, their climb is just really, really cool for sure. Yep. And uh, this is a team we've gotten to kind of know over these years, and they're great people too. So, congrats yeah, I mean, seeing them on, on premiere night, um, we I think we put them as the last video of premiere night, just just the, the wow factor that came yeah. out of that. And then, then the even better part when nobody believed them, and they released a uh, an additional video proving that it is real, and they did time it, and it's not fake. And yeah. uh, you know, I think the you know their performance uh, speaks a lot. Uh, for something like that as well, too. And, uh, you know, great finals matches, of course, against uh, uh, Shaker uh, and uh, the Rocket. Uh, yeah, Rockets that was a, as well that's a tough alliance, yeah, that they that played is. there in the finals. So uh, um, strong outing, yeah, for them. Just a quick editorial comment. Um, there are some events like uh, ISR3 and Southern Cross Australia that were not eligible for this week. Uh, just do the when the events end and when the poll ends. So if you're interested in voting for teams in those events, that will be for the week three poll. Sounds good. All right, moving on to the 18th team. Uh, talk about one of my favorite teams of all time, Team 111. So from Arling Heights, Illinois, it's Wild Stang. They have an overall record of 12-3, and three, and they were the winners of the Midwest Regional. So, um, so, so Justin, just announcing yeah. that Wild Stang was the winners of Midwest Regional, just like felt so right you know like yeah. it's just for some of our younger audience while saying you know was once this you know huge legendary powerhouse team of first um and it's nice really to have been seeing them getting that spotlight once again yeah. so not as quite as successful over the last couple of years um as of late but um winners just can continue to know how to win and keep pushing forward so while saying has a great delivery of the hatch to the rocket they're quicker on the field and they're um after finishing eighth after uh, qualification matches they were selected the number fourth alliance by 48 who we just took 
who we just talked about. And they would take down number five, the fifth alliance, the first, and the third alliance to win the event. So truly exciting for them. Congrats to Wild Stang. And uh, they'll be competing at the Seven Re Rivers Regional next month. So a few weeks off in between here, but uh, we'll see them again. But yeah, just just you know, seeing and hearing about Wild Stang and, and their success at at Midwest, which is like, yeah, that that the good old days are back, you know. So uh, congrats to them. <laughs> yeah, and, and I thought to you. Yeah, whatever else you have to add, Tyler, since you were there. But yeah, I was just I think Travis mentioned in chat. I uh, I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think that's right. That this might be their first regional win since 2013. Uh, wow. which is absolutely insane if that's the case. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, they looked really good. You know, I talked to Dan Green uh, after uh, they won, and just to see, like, him light up so much just off of, like, you know, the they've gone through a lot of struggles in the last few years in regards to, like, their locations have had the change because yeah. of Motorola or where their schools were. Uh, you know, they've, they've had the shift, like, I think, they three shops their, in the last five years or something yeah, like that. Yeah, their lead mentor yeah. and coach moved and got a new job. Yeah, and, right? So, yeah, so, you know, so... Long-term teams. I mean, people. It happens, right? You know, people uh, age out, burn out. They move, get different jobs. They just stop because they want to stop. And uh, you know, seeing seeing that build back up, that climb. You know, it, to me, is like it's so exciting to to have. If you're that team, you're like, hey, we've worked that hard for that long, and now it's paying off. And now we're starting to see the dividends based on something like that. Uh, so yeah, huge congrats to 111 Wild Sting for uh, a really awesome, awesome bot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I wanted to mention this. Uh... We talked about 48 as well, but it just seemed like one of the few instances where it wasn't a one or two seed that won the event. You know, a number four alliance yeah. knocking off the, uh, you know, I think you said five, number one and number three is just um, is unique so far and just a testament to both of the great robots or all three of the great robots that were on that alliance. Yeah. Mm -hmm, for sure. Very cool. So that was team 111. And in our 17th spot, we have team 3339. From Kafar Yona. Oh. I practiced this too. Hammercast Israel. It's Bumblebee. 14 and 5 overall. We're the winners of the Israel District event number two. Please, Israel, can we get some names for your events? The number two, <laughs> number three, number four thing. Just doesn't it's easy work. to keep track of. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's... Is it though? What did they win three or four? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, 33 39 has been a perennial top 25 contender, and they make their first appearance here this week. Uh, 3339 features a robot with a pretty fast third level climb, nice cargo, and hatch mechs to boot. Their climber, though, was uh, really what blew away the competition, earning them additional ranking points to the tune of a six RP lead over everyone else. Wow. So, uh, yeah, it was quite a, um, a runaway for them. But certainly, congrats to them on a great start to their season. And they'll continue it this week uh, or next week at, or I'm sorry, it's, this think, week at Israel event number four. It's going on which is week three. Tomorrow yeah. and, yeah, tomorrow. And yeah, Thursday. tomorrow. Yeah. So. Very, very cool. Mike, by the way, uh, you and I kind of had a, a little, uh, I don't know if bet's the right word, but just a discussion on how many uh, teams from Israel will make the top 25. What, what did you set the number at? I said the over-under at four and a half. Four and a half. So we'll have to see, uh, we'll have to see where, that, where that ends up because there are, there are more. But there we'll are see more. How many, we'll see how many more actually make it. But yeah, Bumblebee has you know, been a team. You know, Israel uh, has been a region that every single year they just keep getting better and better. And you look at last year, uh, uh, teams making it to Einstein, uh, looking really good, and uh, alliance captains to Einstein, if I remember correctly. And uh, Israel has really been really been bringing it. Uh, be yeah, great, uh, to, yeah. Be great to see them. And by the way, at Detroit Championships this year. Uh, so if you uh, don't usually get to see Israel because of the whole, we don't get to see half the teams nowadays. So unless we're fortunate enough to go to both champs, you'll have the opportunity to see them at Detroit this year as well too. So very exciting. Very cool. All right. So one more team here before we have a short. Uh, break at 15 in the 16th spot we have team 3683 from uh, waterloo ontario canada and saint david saint david catholic secondary school it's team dave you have an overall record of 17 and one and you guessed it we're the winners of the humber <laughs> college district event so team dave has been on an incredible streak over these past few years and are doing it again to start the 2019 season uh ranked second after qualification matches with a 2.33 ranking score average they were selected to the number one alliance team dave is an excellent looking and performing robot um their reveal video um which you can watch on blue alliance or youtube or wherever is really really cool um so they're quick around the field they, they easily score both game pieces um they'll become they'll compete again at the hometown at their hometown uh, event the Waterloo event where we'll also see 2056, 1241, 2609, and others. So, so I really expect uh, Team DA to do very well um, at this next event. Um, so good luck to them. And man, just year after year, week after week, Team Dave is just really, really um, just making their mark in Ontario and have just been performing really, really well. So congrats to them. 
Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now.